What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the news that Deathloop's release date may have actually been leaked. Uh, remember, this was something that was happening quite often all across the board back in like the early summer. Uh, Xbox Store, you know, kept giving release dates to just left and right. PlayStation Store has done it as well, but in this case, it's PlayStation New Zealand. So, in the New Zealand, I believe the PlayStation Store. If you go on the PlayStation Store and you're in New Zealand, uh, you can look at Deathloop, and it has the release date for. May 21st, and there's both a standard and a digital deluxe edition um, for this game. So, remember, this game was supposed to be a, a uh, hopeful, I mean, they, I think they intended to be a launch day game, okay? And it got pushed, obviously, so now, and we knew it was going to come out sometime in the spring. In fact, I think the official, if you don't count this as official, the official release window is spring of 2021. Uh, this game will come out on PS5, and this game will also come out on PC the same day. So it's a console exclusive. And remember, Bethesda had said that it's only console exclusive for a year. Now, Microsoft you know, is in the process of buying them. I think by the time this game comes out, they will have bought them. But remember, they're going to still honor the exclusivity of both this and the Ghostwire Tokyo game, which actually, that game looks incredibly good as well. So, you know, I think this seems likely. I, this obviously fits right in there. I mean, when you say spring and you're in the gaming world, I really think end of May is actually the latest you can go. Once you get into June, it's considered summertime, especially uh, in the gaming industry. So, I, I, obviously, June is also the start of summer, but more like mid-June. Uh, but so this makes sense, May 21st. And you know what? And, and this this pains me to say it. I actually forgot that this game existed, to be honest with you. You know, I've talked about over the last couple of weeks, you know, trying to figure out where are all these PlayStation games going to go. You know, you got Ratchet and Clank. You probably have a Gran Turismo game, Gran Turismo 7, right? You got Kenna Bridge of Spirits. You got, you know, all of these games. Now, Horizon was pushed right from what we got from that. In fact, that's the video we talked about yesterday, right? Horizon being pushed, uh, seemingly delayed, right? God of War, does that come out in 2021? Again, I kind of forgot that this game existed. So even without Horizon, and I'm most definitely, I think, forgetting a game, we still would have Ratchet, Kenna Bridge of Spirits, and this for sure within that first four to five month period of 2021. That's extremely, in my mind, or in my opinion, that's extremely, extremely good, and I really feel in my soul that I'm missing like a couple games there, but Ratchet and Clank is obviously uh, one of the biggest ones, right, that, that would be getting that as like a, a really a big AAA kind of game. Deathloop, though, don't sleep on this game. Truly don't sleep on it. You know, I'm not even the biggest Bethesda fan. I think they're very hit or miss. I think uh, they've made some absolutely incredible, I mean, I'm not going to deny it, right? They've made some absolutely incredible games. Arcane Studios, the one that's making this, they have made uh, more consistently, I would say, really good games. So I have faith in this game, and I think everything that we've seen of this game so far has looked very very promising it's an interesting concept it's like a, it's a nice loop it's a nice gameplay loop I think this game would have done really really well now but to be honest with you again I, I kind of forgot if this game was coming out now I don't even know I, I obviously gaming journalists are having a real fun time doing Sackboy and doing Godfall and doing Demon Souls and doing Miles and doing the Pathless and all of these games uh, you're seeing all of them like all at the exact same time. I have no idea how I'm even doing it or how I'm, I'm starting to do it. I'm doing a, a little bit of it, but to add Deathloop to it would, would just be absolutely insane. So I'm excited for it. I think this adds yet again to Sony's 2021 thing. And that's to like make it a, a Sony thing or to like really push PlayStation because you guys know I kind of just follow the games. When there's good games on Xbox, I'll talk about them. I will play them. I will enjoy them. When there's good games on PlayStation, same thing. Nintendo Switch, I love the Switch. Same thing, right? It it just so happens that you know a lot of these things that are coming out are, are kind of I think leaning more PlayStation but I'm excited for this it helps their 2021 schedule you come out again with Ratchet Kenna and this within like uh you do it back to back to back months say I think you have a really strong first half of the year and you didn't even do Horizon you didn't even do God of War you didn't do really anything besides again some small I, I would I mean again Ratchet and Clank isn't small but I would say it's a, a compared to Horizon compared to God of War it definitely is a little bit smaller than that so I think PlayStation is looking really really good not just right now because all the exclusives right now are looking really good but also uh, in the future so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think are you excited for Deathloop do you think this date is correct I do I think again we have more than enough history 
history to suggest that when these kind of things that when when it makes its way on the PlayStation Store or Microsoft Store or like a Xbox whatever you want to call it, I think it you know ninety nine percent of the time. Remember, Microsoft did it for I believe SpongeBob, Destroy All Humans, and Kingdoms of Amalur. They <laughs> the re reckoning. They did it for all three of those. They all made its way on the Xbox. Now the thing too is hopefully I'm not hopefully this video doesn't uh, you know like can actually age okay because most times when this happened especially over the summer when it happened to Microsoft a lot the company would confirm the release date like extremely soon after right so I'm recording this like a couple hours after this happened you guys are seeing it a day after it happened maybe today maybe tomorrow but that's that comes out and says okay you caught us it's coming out May 21st but I do think it's a, it's a solid month it's a solid time we don't really know any other game that's coming out in May but I do think overall with this PlayStation store it's it's something that we do I, I would say it's something that we would trust so again let me know what you guys think as always make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up and I do a brand new video on this channel every single day over the next couple days we may uh, you know I like to do news I like to talk about that kind of stuff we may transition into different stuff just to kind of help podcast now because there's so many games so many next gen games I want to try and cover as much as I can on them we may use this channel to help with that so they may not be news videos uh, you know over the next couple days but generally this channel is pretty much a, a news of the day video right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all on tomorrow's video